Hello people Hello and welcome back to another video Today we're going to stay on the genetics trail And the, the DNA stuff I'm going to go back to the Table of Nations reading But I was kind of researching this in between And I thought, oh, I, I found a new site And I, I uploaded my DNA, which I'm going to show you in a, in a second um, So as you know guys, if you follow me If you've used the third party DNA things like illustrative DNA and uh, my true ancestry and Jed match. You know that you have to download a zip file from Ancestry when you get your results. Well, with that zip file, you can download and get a third party. Well, I found a third party that predicts your Y DNA, your Y haplo group. And only men can really do this because we've only got the Y chromosome. Women have got XX, we've got XY. So it's the Y chromosome is passed through the male side from your father, your grandfather. Females can find out through a relative, but I've passed my my own Y haplogroup to Jed. I've got mine for my dad, granddad. So this is all on the male side of things. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to show you this, uh, this site. And it, I'm totally gobsmacked because you've seen my results, guys. I'm practically a full blown Celt and I'm Viking, a wee bit Viking, and I'm, all this stuff that these uh, DNA places tell you. But mind you, your Y haplogroup only makes up 1% of your DNA. But it does show you a route from where your, uh, your ancestors traveled and who your ancestors possibly could have been. So, guys, I'm going to share screen. So, it's this site here, this YSEC DNA Origin Project. And uh, what you do here is you... So, this is developed by Hunter Proven with input and support. I think this is a public domain site so you can actually clone this if you want i might even put it up on my website uh, but here you can put in your snps in this box or you can upload your file so here dna data bang open so it's loading up here what is jed skeptic media's why haplogroup Let's have a look. Most specific position on the y full tree is L. 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 Like, I thought I would have been R1B, R1A, I. So, we've got L595 here. And apparently, this is a rare haplogroup to find in Europe. And this is a new one as well. I just discovered this one, this L595. LM22. These are the branches from L. And you can find more branches if you click the little box. But what a sight. I right, saw so L, which is kind of over the, the steppe region. Um, Iranians have a small percentage of it. Dagestanians, Chechnyans. <coughs> Indians, Pakistanis, some it's through Europe, but the thing is with L, it started in uh, Eurasia or West Asia and then branched off. Some of, some of it branched out to India and they reckon that the um, the North of India has got a strong L, Y haplogroup. And the Indus civilization apparently was started by this same haplogroup, the Indus civilization but other elves went towards europe so you can find them around the mediterranean as well but it's pretty cool uh so this looks basic at first but when you start going uh let's see these little tiny it doesn't the site doesn't really tell you much but these little icons are very important because then you can have a look at the heat maps so i hope this is the same page i'm going back to Streamyard because sometimes it might be sharing a different window yep I think that's what's happening. Let's see. So we've got the... So we'll share this tab instead. Right, guys. So now we've got a, a world map. 
type L, so you can look at the, the living L's, haplogroups that are kicking about, and the ancient ones. Um, I'm going out soon, so I've not got really that much time, but we've got other uh, keys here. This is layers. This is where you can see where they've tested for it. Um, this is the pie chart where it's mostly found. It sometimes gets a bit too busy, though, if you put too much up. Uh, this is its root here. Zoom in a little bit. Right, so you can see L here. This is where it started. In this area. Kind of in Anatolia. That sort of area. It's still sort of clearing up for the... But this is, this is even cooler. It shows you the roots. Look at that. It's looking a bit busy now, but you can slide this bar to the younger, so you can go back through time. There you go, guys. There's L. So I'm going to spread that way. See that? But they can only really go with what they've tested so far, and L is a pretty rare one. It does go through Europe, and it goes into Britain as well, but Totally gobsmacked, guys. Uh, and I suggest if you're interested in your Y Haplogroup, group, especially if you're a male, uh, you check this out. If you're a female, you'll have to ask your dad or your brother if you've got one um, to find out your, <coughs> your own. But this is mind blowing. Here's the L595 one. And this is where I think the Hungarians, the Hungarian Avars, there's a group called the Avars, and they, they reckon they, they were the Ls as well. So. Anyway, guys, I'm going, I'll, I'll make a more in-depth video, but I just wanted to get this out there. And leave in the comments what your y Haplo group is. And uh, have a good day. Cheers.